What's going on everybody? I'm Eric. And I'm Katie. And today for Thrifty Thursday, Katie, what are we doing? We're making gloves. Gauntlets. The Infinity Gauntlet. So, because of the fact that, you know, the new latest Avengers movie is coming out, Infinity War, we figured we would go nerd out and make some Infinity Gauntlets. Now, we're, we're taking a little bit of liberty here with the way we're making it because we're not going to make it as close to movie accurate because we just don't have certain things that we need like now I'm missing a stone but oh, I got extra but <laughs> so anyway Please. we'll need some pre-cut foam which we've already pre-cut our pieces out um what else will we need Katie a glove a glove you know get you an old work glove or something like that that's torn up like as you can see I've already had to fix mine a little bit um some bits of plastic or anything that you can use to round it out let's see some gemstones and of course hot glue and more foam so anyway Katie are you ready to get started yep all right let's get started so let's see I'm gonna go ahead and get me a yellow stone out of here because apparently mine just in my aid I'm gonna cut this part here anyway And in three, two, one. Okay, so our first step is we're gonna take our glove and try to lay it out as flat as possible. Of course, the thumb is gonna be the biggest part that's not gonna lay flat. But you wanna take that pre-cut piece and you wanna cut your foam with basically a ridge around each knuckle. It doesn't have to be perfect. I, I, you know, I'm just making this for fun. I'm not making this for cosplaying. If I was gonna cosplay, I'd probably end up like, oh, there's my yellow stone. Okay, never mind. So. You can make it flat, which I'm going to try to work on doing that with mine now. I just pre-cut, and there we go. And what you want to do is you want to take those and glue them to your glove like Katie's done right here. Now, Katie went with a rounded hand design, which is cool. I mean, that works out. Again, this is your infinity gauntlet, and you want to just put hot glue on the glove or contact cement, whatever you're using. We have hot glue here because we obviously don't like the way contact cement sticks to everything and eventually just makes a mess everywhere and warps stuff and but that hot glue will hold it in place now the, we use a low heat hot glue gun which is why i'm able to do that and once it glues in place we're going to cut off any excess so your gauntlet should automatically look like this now and your thumb will stick out from the side again the thumb on this was not made to stick out perfectly. Now Katie's actually got a better thumb on hers than mine, um, but her glove is a little bit warped from being left out in wet conditions at one point in time and that was my bad because those were these were nice work gloves and I just like left them out but I'm gonna let this kind of dry in place and then our next step is going to be we're gonna take now I'm gonna take thin strips of armor but Katie's Katie's going with more traditional look so the gauntlet will have will be flat on top, and then she'll have the stones glued in place. Um, and then we get to play with our favorite thing, which is spray paint. So, yeah. So we're gonna let these dry. I'm gonna finish gluing on some extra stuff here to kind of give you the idea of what I'm doing. And when we come back, we'll move on to the next step of gluing on our gemstones and fun stuff. You wanna wait to do that so you don't spray paint them? Yeah, yeah. Don't put on your gemstones till you spray paint. Thank you, Katie. Katie's the brains of the outfit. I'm just, you know, the money maker. Okay, so Katie, you went with more of a traditional design here. You're just going simplistic with pretty much a piece of armor on it, a piece of armor on the hand, and then the gauntlet itself is pretty much going to be one solid piece. Me, I went intricate. I mean, I went ahead and glued like that there, so you can barely see it. But it's a little piece of plastic that I'm gonna spray paint gold. I might put this on there. Yeah, Katie's going to go ahead and make her cuff, but it works well. I mean, I'm actually proud of myself for putting that much foam into something and making it look like a piece of armor. Now, it won't have the armor on the hand because I want to be able to access and use my left hand because I'm left-handed. So putting all those pads on there would make it hard to grip something for me because, I mean, as you can see now, I'm having a hard time moving my hand. Uh, once I get it in place, then I can actually pick up and grab. But that pink, that one finger there is just very stiff, so it's going to take me a little while 
And the foam's flexible, so I don't have to worry about it ripping and tearing and pulling off. Uh, you see a lot of hot glue on here now, and that's going to be covered up by the paint and by just simple cleaning up while it, right before we get started painting. Um, so, yeah, once Katie gets hers finished, we're going to go out and spray paint these gold. You won't get to see the gold paint process because it's just, it's me painting. All right, so now that we've gone through and we've painted them, this is how they've turned out. I see a few spots that I've got to touch up here, but I can do that after the video. But so far, I mean, that's looking very uh, gauntlet-esque. So our next step here is to go ahead and hot glue, hot glue our gemstones on. Now, I know that there's always like one, one gemstone that's slightly bigger in the palm area here. But, or in the back of the hand area there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and just kind of set it right there in the middle. And I'm going to place a yellow stone up here, at the, up here on that. And kind of force it down and that should hold it in place. And then I'm going to do that for each one of the stones up here. So I've got one that's going to be like an orange color. So that's two, three, four. Okay, I'm missing a green one well as well, I guess. And I think I know where that happened. What happened? Okay, yeah, thank you, Katie. From my big yellow thing, I took the bottom of a cup, one of those little tiny three thingy cups, three ounce cups, and then I put a piece of foam over it and painted it yellow. So that's Ooh, what I did. I'm going to put the blue there. Almost messed up. I grabbed the blue again. So, my blue one's in place. I had a green one. There we go. Put my green one in place on the thumb. The blue one's going to go right here on the middle finger knuckle. And that's three of my stones already in place. So, hot. Extremely hot because it's been on for a while. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking a red and kind of using it in place of the orange because we don't have any orange stones. Then I'm going to take, well, I'm probably about time to start pushing this with this. There we go. Take a little bit of that and that's going to be the red stone. So I'm using a pink or a light red colored stone. And then finally putting the purple stone here on the finger and I'm gonna let these cool and set into their respective spots. And that's how mine's turned out. So Katie's gonna do a little bit of intri intricate designs on uh, one or both of these and then when we come back, you'll get to see the final product. Yours is kinda stiff, isn't it? Very. Because of the paint? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, you got it on? Yeah, best that I can. Alright, so come to find out my glove was probably the better deal here. Poor Katie got the <laughs> Hanson glove. Take the strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the pretty awesome, you know, Infinity Gauntlet. Katie did some awesome detail work. I don't know, you probably can see it from here, but she did the wing work and she actually surrounded the gems with a little bit of that gold paint or the gold hot glue. I'll probably do some touch-up work in between it. Well, no, it's actually good. Um, but this was actually a fun project, and I'm super stoked for the Infinity War movie. So, you know, <laughs> your poor glove. <laughs> but this was not hard to make, and if you got like an old work glove and some foam laying around, man, this makes a great part of any kind of cosplay. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect if you're going to like a, you know, if you're not into like the big Comic-Con stuff, but want to make something for like maybe a costume. There's your own Infinity Gauntlet. I mean, cheap, easy to make, you know. Don't go with my method. I, I see a <laughs> few things I want to work on eventually, but you know, this is a good prototype. A good, yeah. So, Katie, what did you think of this project? I didn't really enjoy my portion, but I enjoy your portion. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm really getting better with working with foam, and I, I enjoy working with foam. The only thing I will say about the spray paint is that if it sits on anything too long, like I'm gonna have to develop a good hanging system for this stuff, like clothespins or something like that to hang it on, yep. and some rope. 
But other than that, I mean, that turned out really good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Also, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of today's craft or what you'd like to see us do next. Uh, also, click on that bell icon. You know, because I'm commanding you to. Into this. You know, I'm commanding you to click on that bell icon, and I'm commanding you to subscribe. And if you don't, this is what will happen to you. If hand. you don't, we'll just rewrite. We'll rewrite the world in our favor. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the, the next, next video. video. So, did you like today's video? If so. Click right here around Peter to subscribe. If you want to see our last episode, click here. Yeah. If you want to see something else, you can always click on me. Oh, that tickles. Stop. St stop. Seriously, just, just stop. Stop it.